the early days at WKBN. We had programs, <clears throat> most of it was somebody playing the piano. There was popular music in those days, uh, uh, some of which people liked and some that they didn't like, just like there is today. It all began here, on Auburndale Avenue on the city's south side in 1926. Warren Williamson, Jr. repaired radio sets here with his good friend Creed Corpenny. The two shared business and a love of amateur radio. But one day uh, I said to Creed, uh, you know, I've got this broadcasting station, this amateur station here. Why don't we make a broadcasting station out of it? That old transmitter is still around. It literally is the size of a bread box and broadcast a distance of about 12 miles, way back in 1926. CBS Radio in Youngstown, WKBN, WKBN-FM. What fun those early days must have been, and a bunch of engineers tinkering with their strange equipment, and the entertainers, the singers, musicians, speakers, and comics. Most of radio was live back then, and because of all of that, the business grew quite successfully. Radio was more than just a business. From the very earliest days, we tried to do what we could to be in what uh, my, the Federal Radio Commission finally, and Congress finally determined as public interest, convenience, and necessity. We don't see much of the boss anymore, as we call him. He's retired now, but he's still chairman of the board. The torch has been passed to a new generation of Williamsons. Son Bud is now company president. Son J.D. is doing what his father did, running WKBN radio. We uh, do have bad reports for the Maslin fans. Cincinnati Elder... Which brings us back to our 60th birthday. This business has changed a lot in the past 60 years. Where the boss talked about vacuum tubes and ham transmitters, our generation must deal with satellite time and fiber optics. But one thing must never change, our commitment to public service. I felt that uh, the community was good to us, and I think if it is good to you as somebody in business in the man's community, you owe the community something. Thanks, boss. A job well done. For Newswatch 27, I'm Gary Hansen.